Well, with us right now is Sean O'Connell, Progressive Power Group, and they are going to be having a solar workshop coming up on February 2nd. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to Welcome. meet you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, tell us about uh, the company overall, kind of briefly, and how long you've been in business, and obviously you put up uh, solar, solar panels and things. Sure. Um, the company was started in 2007. Okay. And we started in the residential space, and then one of our customers owned commercial buildings throughout mm -hmm. the country. So that's how we got involved in the commercial okay. um, solar industry as well. Um, we're located in Garden Grove, and we currently have operations in six different states across the country. Okay. Now, as far as um, the workshop coming up, uh, I do want to mention, first off, that it's going to be in Aliso Viejo, so people understand that. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, this is on the, your uh, flyer here. Correct. Uh, might be a little hard to read, but it, it's uh, Wedgwood Aliso Viejo, it's w which is off of uh, Santa Barbara Drive. But you're basically going to be discussing, uh, answering questions and things about uh, putting up solar panels. But I think the biggest question that people are going to probably be asking is about the net metering, uh, because there's a lot of confusion about that. Uh, that maybe it's not going to be as robust as it used to be, that the, some of the uh, programs are coming to an end. Can Correct. you uh, talk about that a bit? Yeah, the territory that we're in here, in Southern California Edison Service Territory, hasn't reached the cap yet. Mm -hmm. So um, their drop dead time is this summer. So starting July 1st, okay. um, they'll be transferring to version 2.0. Okay. So it's about an 8% difference in value to the customer um, mm -hmm. moving forward. So that's why we're telling people now, you know, don't hesitate. You know, you have the chance to get into version one, mm -hmm. which uh, is more beneficial for the customer. And you get to lock into those terms for 20 years. Okay. So. Now, yeah. as far as your company goes, do you uh, sell the system? Do you lease the system because I and then there's the the one that's kind of in between. I forget what it's called, but you know what I'm talking right, about. There's certain work. Yeah, there's a cash is great. Yeah, you know, then you own the system outright, and then you have access to the tax credit. Right, and then we also have loans um, through credit unions mm -hmm. and other entities, which also allows you to capture the tax credit. Right. Then there are leases. There are some restrictions in the community mm -hmm. relative to who can do a lease and who cannot. So that's one thing that we need to identify. Right. And then I think the other um, item you were talking about is called a power purchase agreement. Right, or right. Explain that one. It's similar to a lease, and they're structured one of two ways. Either you pay a flat amount every month, mm -hmm. and then um, you base that on the expected energy production of the system. Okay. Or there are some companies where you actually get a statement every month and then whatever the system produced is what you pay them, similar to what you would do with the utility company. Okay, all right. Uh, so more than likely in this community, it is an outright purchase, am I right? Or, I would think so. Now what I think, yeah. people may finance it, of course, but you right. understand what I mean, rather than uh, the leasing. Correct. Yeah. And the way the net metering works, kind of ex explain that. Certainly, so right now everybody gets a monthly bill mm -hmm. from the utility company. Right. When you switch to net metering and become a solar customer, you get a statement every month. And so what happens is you just entered into a one-year agreement. So every year they're going to send you a statement showing you um, how much of their electricity you used or how much you put back onto the grid. Mm -hmm. So that goes for the entire year uh, based upon the anniversary when you started your agreement. Okay. And then if you owe the utility money at the end of that one year, then that's when you settle up with them. Okay. If you have a bill credit, then you're allowed to roll that credit into the next 12-month billing cycle. Okay. So in essence, most homes only use about 25% of what their solar system is actually producing. Mm -hmm. And the balance of that goes through your meter and then out into the grid, and it actually gets used up by other homes in your circuit okay. that don't have solar. Okay. So by about the fifth or sixth home in the circuit, all the uh, electrons and everything that you just put on the grid yeah. has been used up by the other homeowners. Okay, so uh, does that mean that people that have a system like this, they're not paying SCE monthly as they normally would, they get one bill 
at the end of the year? Or, or do they do they get an ongoing statement so it's not a surprise? So you're getting a statement every yeah. month, just so you know. And you are allowed to pay for it okay. um, as you go. Sure. If, you know, for example, you've got a very large electric bill and we're only able to put on a system that's going to take down half of your bill, okay. um, then you can continue to make monthly payments so you don't have that big whopper at the end of the year. Right, exactly. Okay. So uh, th as far as the solar workshop goes, this is going to be an event that people will, if they have questions and things like that, they, this is where they can get more detailed answers, right? It's great. It's a, it's a nice time to not you know, have a high pressure sales mm -hmm. situation going on because there's an abundance of information available on solar. Right. So it's good to just hear the straight facts. You know, we have a very long list of customers um, that people can talk to just to see what their experience with us was. Okay. Because I think it's important, you know, if you're selecting a contractor, because it is yeah. a construction project, that you pick somebody that's, you know, got the proper licenses and has a good prospect for being around 5, 10, 15, and 20 years down the right. road. Because the warranties are, you know, some of these products are warranted for the past 25 years. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, you want somebody that's engaged uh, in the industry, not just, you know, didn't show up yesterday. Right. But has been doing it for a while and has a track history. Exactly. And then, you know, we want people to do what's best for them. Right. We don't have an agenda. We're obviously, you know, solar advocates and very much believe in the industry. But, you know, we want to we do right by people just like if it was being put on our home. All right. So I want people to make note of the numbers and the email because they would like you to do RSVP. And uh, the number's on the screen, 714-899-2300, extension 214. Great. Or you can email Sean, Sean at propowergroup.com. And this is going to be taking place in Aliso Viejo on February 2nd at uh, 3.15 p.m. So if you'd like to attend, uh, please give them a call and or email ahead of time. And that way uh, they know how many people are going to be there and, and uh, be able to set up and away you go. Sean, good to meet you. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Thank you very much. We will be right back.